everyone welcome back to our channel today we are going to demonstrate how to connect an inductive load okay so this is nothing but a three phase variac loading inductor so the rating of this inductive load is 5 amperes okay so you can see this inductive load this is an inductive load actually here you have a three phase transformer and you have an a wheel to load it so as soon as you rotate it automatically you can see here the core gets isolated okay so you can see here the core is getting isolated from this end so as soon as you rotate the wheel the core gets isolated if the core is isolated such a way that this transformer has only primary there is no secondary that's why it acts like an reactor and you can see here as soon as you rotate the wheel the more core is getting isolated it acts like a reactive coil and it's completely act like an inductive load so here this inductive load is for 5 amperes now let's try to check it so coming to the connections so we have to connect this primary side of the transformer so we have the windings as three phase winding r1 r2 next one y1 y2 next one b1 b2 so now i want to connect in star connection so star means join all the second terminal r1 r2 y2 as well as b2 and this is how we are going to short so now we can see here so i am going to short r2 y2 as well as b2 so now the second is in star so now how to give the supply is so here you have r1 y1 b1 here we are going to give r y b supply so this will act like an inductive load which consists of only primary to withstand a current of 5 amperes so generally for this inductive load we have to connect an induction motor but we are using only an three phase transformer which has only primary there's no secondary so the maximum amount of three phase variable inductive load is 5 amperes this is a 5 ampere three phase variable inductive load now let's try to perform the experiment how to use this three phase variable inductive load for the measurement of voltage regulation of an alternator using and this is called as a jpf where it's called jpf which is called zero power factor okay so cos phi is equal to zero then phi is equal to how much 90 degrees so inductive load current and voltage are phase shifted with 90 degrees that's why this is called as a zero power factor so zero power factor means it's very simple to understand so cos phi is equal to zero phi equal to cos inverse zero where the angle between voltage and current are having 90 degrees that's why this is called as an inductive load or current lacks the voltage that's why this is called as an inductive load okay now let's try to see how to use this inductive load for the measurement of voltage regulation of an alternator to find out a jp of characteristics of an alternator so we'll continue in the another video 